Batchcock Nation, time to fall into a great recipe for this time of year. You know what we're all about? It's sweater weather time. We're making stuffed acorn squash. And I'll tell you about the first time I made this. My wife and I were tailgating at a Syracuse University football game, doing it right, you know, tying it on a little bit. And uh, laughing, and the Qs actually had a good game, played well. And the next day though, right, she's walking around this beautiful blue sweater, fitting her just right, eyes are popping. I'm like, I gotta make something that's like fall and like keep the magic rolling here. So we came up with a stuffed acorn squash. It's easy to make, it tastes really good, it looks super fall. This isn't for those basic people, it's for you, baby. Let's go. Now the acorn squash, easy to work with, it's kind of pretty, and we're gonna set it up so basically you can eat right out of it. You can eat the flesh in it while it's actually a serving utensil itself. It's kind of a pretty cool thing. So what you wanna do first, right, is cut off a flat part on the bottom so it can stand up. Same with the top. Cut just a little off so it can stand. From there, cut this bad boy in half, and now you know what you're doing with it. Okay, so now you see how it's kind of set up. From there, you're gonna take it and you've got the seeds and the stringy part. Get a, just a good spoon that you like to use and you'll be able to scoop some of the flesh right out. The next part is pretty simple. We're gonna take some cooking spray. You can use olive oil, but cooking spray we like for this. Hit it a little bit there. We like to use, on our dish, we use Creole seasoning, you can use Italian seasoning, garlic powder but we like a little bit of the bite and the spice in this, a little salt with the sweetness of the squash. Now we've got it seasoned, we're gonna bake it for a half hour at 400 degrees, soften it up, and while we're doing that, we're gonna make the stuffing. When we're cooking in the fall too, you gotta treat yourself. Right now we're gonna use Sam Adams Oktoberfest, one of our personally favorite beers, great memories, great beer, and it's actually part of the dish. So the base for our stuffing is rice. So what we're using with the rice though is don't cook rice and water, that's for the basic people, right? What we do instead is we cook it with, maybe it's chicken stock, maybe lobster stock, whatever it is you're gonna do. We cook this rice with Sam Adams Oktoberfest and some garlic powder. Next, we have one pound of ground sweet Italian sausage. You can use hot sausage if you want. Now, we've got half of a sauteed red onion going in there. Some green red bell, sweet peppers as well, a little pepper combination, all sauteed, but you can use whatever veggies you want. Just saute them first. Then we've got a handful of sauteed white mushrooms, okay? So as we're going into our dish, now we've got one of those little eight ounce packages of cheese. Put almost all of it, so you've got one handful left into your bowl. Now you're gonna stir it up, like my man Bob Marley. Just stir it up, baby. You're gonna take a couple scoops of it, get it in there, and be generous. Put it in there, use your hands, really get yourself a good amount of the goodness on it, because when you scoop it, you're gonna have both the flesh you can eat and the stuffing. Top it with some of the cheddar, sharp cheddar cheese we're using, and then we hit it with a little bit of the Creole seasoning. This goes back in the oven just till the cheese melts, and then you're good to go. After it's in the oven at 400, just get the cheese melty. Look at this golden goodness. We paired it with a crisp little apple coleslaw, great fall side. Now when you do it, if you do it right like we did, you can get a bite of it and you get some of the squash flesh and look at that cheese just coming off. This is anything but basic stuffed acorn squash. Mm. Looks like you got plans for dinner tomorrow night. 